polygons and circle do you know what are polygons a polygon is a closed figure made up of line segments figure a here is a polygon having five sides figure b is not a polygon because it is not closed though it is made up of line segments only figure c is also not a polygon because it is made up of line segments and curves though it is closed triangle is a three sided polygon it has three angles and three vertices in the figure shown the sides of the triangle abc are ab bc and ca the three angles are angle abc or angle d angle bac or angle a the three vertices are a b and c triangle is the polygon having least number of sides we cannot have a polygon less than 3 sides we can classify triangles on the basis of their angles as well as on the basis of their sides a triangle whose all angles are acute is called an acute angled triangle in the figure here the angles of each triangle are acute so these are acute angled triangles a triangle whose one angle is a right angle is called a right angled triangle in the figure angle abc is equal to 90 degrees so triangle abc is a right angled triangle a triangle whose one angle is an obtuse angle is called an obtuse angled triangle in the figure shown one angle of each triangle is obtuse so these are obtuse angled triangles if all the sides of a triangle are equal then it is called an equilateral triangle here in triangle abc ab is equal to bc is equal to ac also in triangle xyz xy is equal to yz is equal to zx so abc as well as xyz are equilateral triangles if two sides of a triangle are equal it is called an isosceles triangle in the figure de is equal to ef so triangle def is an isosceles triangle a triangle whose all the three sides are of different length is called a scalene triangle in triangle abc here ab is equal to 3.5 cm bc is equal to 7 cm and ac is equal to 5 cm so abc is a scalene triangle A four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. It has four angles and four vertices. Quadrilaterals can be classified into various categories. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel and equal. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are also equal. In the quadrilateral ABCD, AB is equal to cd and ab is parallel to cd also ad is equal to bc and ad is parallel to bc so abcd is a parallelogram rectangle is a parallelogram whose each angles measure 90 degrees in the figure pqrs is a parallelogram whose each angle measures 90 degree so pqrs is a rectangle a parallelogram having all the sides equal is called a rhombus in the figure ijkl is a parallelogram in which ij is equal to jk is equal to kl is equal to li so it is a rhombus a parallelogram whose each angle measures 90 degree 
and whose all sides are equal is called a square. In the figure ABCD is a parallelogram in which angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degree and AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. So ABCD is a square. A quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel is called a trapezium. In the figure, PQ is parallel to RS. So it is a trapezium. Also in quadrilateral LMNO, LO is parallel to MN. So it is also a trapezium. A polygon with five sides is called a pentagon. A polygon with six sides is called hexagon. A polygon with seven sides is called a heptagon. A polygon with eight sides is called an octagon. A polygon with nine sides is called a nonagon. A polygon with ten sides is called a decagon. In the previous class, you have also read about circles. We can draw a circle by tracing the outlines of circular objects. We can also draw a circle by using a compass. Circle is a simple closed curve, each of whose points is at an equal distance from a fixed point inside it. Here, OA is equal to OB, is equal to OC, is equal to OD. It means every point on the curve is at equal distance from the fixed point O. So the closed curve is a circle. The fixed point O is the center of the circle and the distance OA or OB or OC or OD is called its radius. Obviously, all radii of a circle are equal. Now take any two points A and B on a circle and join them. The segment AB is called a chord of the circle. We can have infinite number of chords in a circle. Observe the chord AB of the circle. We see that it passes through the center O. It is called diameter of the circle. So a chord passing through the center of a circle is called its diameter. Since the diameter AB is made up of two radii, OA and OB, so we can say that diameter is twice the radii. Also, diameter is the longest chord of a circle. Any part of a circle is called an arc. In the figure here, ACB as well as PQR are two arcs. Half of a circle is a semicircle. Perimeter or the length of the boundary of a circle is called its circumference. We can find the circumference of a circle using a thread. Take a thread. Put its one end at A and hold it firmly. Take the thread around the circle till you come back at A. The length of this piece of thread gives the circumference of the circle. Now using a compass, draw two circles of radii 3.5 cm and 7 cm. And using a thread, measure the circumference of each circle. Now complete the given table. We see that in each case, circumference is approximately 3 times its diameter. Or circumference of a circle is equal to 3 multiplied by its diameter approximately. You can verify this relationship by drawing some more circles. 